Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Terraria modded tutorial series. Today we're going to go ahead and learn how to create a recipe for our item and also how to make multiple recipes for our item and even add modded items into our recipes. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my file open here. I've deleted the recipe code for my gel pickaxe. So we're just going to go ahead and re-add it. So in order to add a recipe, you have to override a method called add recipes. So we're going to say public override void add recipes. And in here we're going to say recipe recipe equals create recipe. And what this does is it actually creates a recipe that we can add ingredients to. And in order to add an ingredient, recipe dot add ingredient, and then the item ID. I'm going to say item ID dot gel, and then 12. So if you want to add more than one of an ingredient, you just put a comma, and then the amount of that item you want to add as the ingredient. Okay, awesome. And let's say we also want to have this uh, be craftable at an anvil. Well, we're going to have to say recipe dot uh, add tile tile id dot anvils and finally to actually register this recipe into the game and make sure that terraria knows that hey this is a recipe for this item and not some other random item we're going to say recipe dot register and that's all we have to do so let me just quickly explain a little bit more about uh, what this does so over here when we say recipe recipe what we're doing is we're creating this variable with a data type of recipe meaning that we can now say recipe.addIngredient. Imagine this was not called recipe. Imagine it was called like the, the gel pickaxe recipe, right? Now notice how the recipe.addIngredient suddenly becomes red. That's because the name of our recipe isn't actually recipe. It's gel pickaxe recipe. So we would then have to replace that name with uh, our actual recipe name. So we usually just say recipe because most of the time it doesn't really make sense to give it a very descriptive name since we already have this code uh, in the file of our item. So there's no real point of renaming our recipe to the name of our item. But if you are doing this maybe in some global item, you're adding a recipe, this is very, very important. So that way you know uh, which recipe you're actually changing and which one you're registering because imagine if we just said like recipe one two three and four that'd be very confusing uh, but there you go that's how you create a new recipe uh, for your item and just for simplicity i'm going to return this back to what it was okay awesome but how do you make more than one recipe well that's actually quite easy once you already have the base code just copy it and then paste it below it and then rename the recipe so let's say we had like some kind of accessory uh, that has two different crafting recipes like let's say you could craft the Hermes boots with some kind of like monster hide or something like that. But you could also craft it maybe using leather. And to do that, you would have to have uh, two recipes. And this is what you would do if you wanted to add more than one recipe. You would just create a new recipe, rename the recipe, and then change the name of the add ingredients in the register. So that way it registers this as an entirely different recipe. For example, maybe to craft this pickaxe, we can use 12 gel, or we can use uh, let's just say something random like 12 iron bars, right? And when we go into the game and we build and reload, you'll see we can use either one of these recipes for our item. But let's imagine we wanted to craft it with not only iron bars, but also lead bars. How would we do that? Do we need to have an entirely different recipe just for that? Well, not necessarily, because here's what we can do. We can say recipe dot add recipe group. A recipe group contains more than one item. For example, if you said recipe dot add recipe group and then in quotations wood, that would be referencing every single type of wood in Terraria instead of having to have 12 different recipes for all the different kinds of woods. You could just say add recipe group uh, wood. And it's very important that you do this because otherwise when a player wants to craft something with wood and you only actually add the base ingredient of wood into your item, then it's going to be kind of weird and players are going to be really confused when they try and uh, craft your item. So let's also just put that to 15 as well, 15 wood. Another very common recipe group is iron bar. This one contains both the lead bars and the iron bars. So that way you don't have to reference both of those in separate recipes. Okay, I'm going to make a third recipe real quick and I'm going to add a modded item into this. So I'm just going to call this recipe modded and I'm going to rename all this correctly. And now to add a modded item, as an ingredient. Here's what you do. Recipe modded dot add ingredient mod content dot item type 
and then what name of the item what what item should we add let's just add something random let's add it so we need our gel bow and then two parentheses and then let's just add another parenthesis because we don't want to have uh, more than one of this item be in the recipe and just like that we now added our modded item to our recipe so if we go ahead and go into our workshop and build and reload our mod hopefully we won't get any errors if we hop into our game and we check our recipe browser and we look up our gel or what is it called it was a pickaxe of some kind yeah sticky pickaxe you can see we have three recipes here for this pickaxe so we can click on this one our first recipe is using our uh, sticky bow to craft this so that does work we did add a modded item to our recipe and then we have our second recipe which i actually just realized something i accidentally forgot to uh change the name of this one recipe group right there so it was it was adding the recipe group to our first recipe so you see why it's important to have different names and uh, to stay organized there but yeah all our recipes work just fine and you can see when we hover over this it says any iron bar which just means letter iron all right well that about sums it up for this tutorial i know this one might not seem very important but it actually does become uh, a very very practical thing to be able to do once you start getting a little bit more into the modding sphere and you want to have a lot of more unique recipes for your items. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.